So it was an interview with Hillel Corin. He's uh, one of the head developers of Invoice Ninja, an open source project that we use. And it's a great interview if you want to get behind the scenes and talk about the development process in there. Great set of developers. And I'm talking about this because we're still using Invoice Ninja now. And we started it in February of started testing it in February of 2018, went live in March of 2018, and never looked back. It was around version 4.2 when we started. We're all the way at version 4.5.6 right now. So it has been a great project, and the interaction with the developers has been awesome. And I, I don't like, first, I want to dispel the myth that people looking for open source software are just looking for a free ride or free things. That's actually not true at all. Matter of fact, I don't mind donating time, money, and effort into open source projects to make them better because it, it's a community effort, and they really have a good model here. Now, the improvements from version 4.2 to 4.5.6 have not changed the general interface. So all the videos I had done previously talking about our workflow and things like that have not been impacted by the updates to Invoice Engine. Matter of fact, all the updates have gone really smooth and it's all been a lot of feature enhancements. It's still the same, really nicely laid out using Laravel um, as a framework on top of PHP with some underlying Java and MySQL as a database backend. For those of you who want to know the technology, it'll all be detailed here. Uh, but this is our test site that we have uh, set up and it's still you know, it works really well. I still like the interface and everything else. But let's talk about a couple of things that are different since I did my video originally. Um, since my 4.2 install, they've enhanced the proposal system, but we still don't really use it a lot. So I'm not, it takes a little bit of effort to get it set up, but it's pretty cool. Um, they've added a lot more import options. So you can import from different invoicing platforms if you want to move to this one. And they still, of course, support all your exporting your data and being open source. If you're self-hosting it, it, it all goes into a MySQL database that you completely have access to. And one of the other bigger enhancements they've done are some of the client statements. And this has been really nice because being able to have clients log into the portal, give them a statement of all the work you've done, show outstanding invoices and aging charts to them, and let them sort it out when you have a disorganized client, great feature. Um, uh, on there. They've also, because one of the complaints they had was some of the auto uh, address lookups based on zip code, they fixed that. They've also just lots of little uh, UI enhancements. For example, when you're adding items, the little slide downs that come out to give you the details of the items as they auto complete inside. So when you're creating a new invoice and you do the mouse over for this, you can see how it shows you all the details before it fills in. So my other reviews of the product are still true. It's also just talking about some of these added enhancements. And I like doing follow-up videos to let people know that I'm still using a product and I'm still as excited about it. We're not in the search for another product. Matter of fact, that's been the best part of this is the interaction with the developers. When we say, hey, can you do this? And people join in and we come up with ideas, shared people using it, come up with ideas to make the product better and the developers, well, they like listening to their users and creating better product. So um, I just want to do this follow up and talk about, hey, check this out. So I'll leave a link to Floss uh, Weekly and the interview with them so you can kind of get an idea of the philosophies and design uh, behind it. You know, and it's, just, like I said, been a very good experience. Now, the other nice thing that they announced in there, but I knew from speaking with them in the forums, is they built this on tools from five years ago when they started the project. They still plan to continue on with Laravel in the same look, but they're going to be going through some retooling in the back end of it to improve the system even more and base it on some newer, more modern ideas. Now, like I said, this, once again, complete transition. So these updates will come for free and it's still open source and that's still their plan to continue. And I'm going to continue supporting the project in any way I can, including I have a whole series once they do the read uh, re-update of the system. I'm going to be doing a new series on modules um, for how we use them and how our workflow is. And th the ones I have now are still going to be relevant, but I just wanted to update people who always ask, hey, what are you using for invoicing? We're still using Invoice Ninja. It still works really well. The integrations just keep getting better. Uh, we've been actually starting to play with uh, some of the Zapier ones and look at some more automation tools to help deal with people who contract us like from here on YouTube uh, to kind of make that transition even smoother. Um, because our traditional way is more normally just creating an invoices on an as-needed basis. Uh, they have some more automated 
good tools to create them for us. And like I said, these guys just keep pushing a project forward. So I still get my thumbs up here in November 2018, still using a project, still really excited about the new um, back end where work they're doing. And they're fast. I don't know when the release date is for this yet, but um, the coding on the and revisions on these are really fast. They do a great job and they do it without breaking things as all the updates, as I said, from 4.2 to 4.5.6 we're at today. Perfectly smooth, and I don't even worry about it. I mean, I still back up, of course. Please don't ever not back up. But I'd have never had to restore from a backup through each of these version upgrades, and that's that's pretty impressive for a fairly in-depth payment system that we currently have over twenty-two thousand invoices and six thousand five hundred clients. And so it is held up well. It is working well, and I'm looking forward to the future with them. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.